Hi, welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, we'll develop a logo by following the client descriptions. So here is the details given by the client and according to that, we'll develop a new logo. So let me read out the details given by the client. Here the first thing, when you read the client uh, descriptions, you need to check the logo title. So here the logo title is true source and secondly you need to check uh, the client is given the tagline or the slogan so here uh, we don't have any tagline and third most important thing is descriptions these descriptions will tell about the client business so let me read out the description what it is written here is I need a logo for my crop cultivation business. That means the business is about crop cultivation. The logo need to reflect my business. The client want that the logo itself should reflect her crop business. Especially focusing on crops, landscape and the mountain should incorporate in the logo what does it mean the client want to see crops landscape and the mountain should incorporate within the logo so this is very important crops landscape and the mountain will focus to incorporate within the logo and now the color preferences here the color preferences is best suit for the logo that means she don't have any particular color suggestions it depends on the designer which will be best suitable for this kind of logo so here first i'll start with the crops so here I'll uh, draw a rough sketch of the crops here like crops should be like this these are the basic uh, sample of crops now secondly is the landscape so the landscape I'll make like this just this is a rough sketch of the landscape here and thirdly the mountain so here I'll draw a mountain here like so these are the mountain shape simply just you need to draw this initial thing and now we'll start developing a logo so the first thing what I'll do I'll write the name here true source and the landscape so here I'll try to put this landscape down And here 
let me try to make the crops at the top here is another leaf and now we need the mountain so here let me place the mountain like this so we can make it more better uh, let's try another way let me try to make it more nicer on the second attempt so let me write let me draft here true source t r u s o u r c e and let me make a draft here like this little curve and let me make it up to here and join these two so this will be the landscape and from here we can join up to this and from this to this we can make it like this even we can join it like this so let me join to this corner up to here so this forms a landscape and now here let me draw a curved line like this so the title will come at the center from here let me draw a big leaf like this and here another little smaller leaf here make it like this and the third leaf i'll make like this take this one here this one here and make the lips like this and now let me draw the mountain from here the mountain will go in the midst of this and this way will complete the shape Here also we can give some grasses like this. So here we have the complete things according to the client details. Crops is here, crops, landscape, we have given the landscape here and the mountain here we have drawn the mountain. So this is a complete things we incorporated within the logo. Our draft design is ready. Let me take this draft to the system and we'll recreate it in Adobe Illustrator software. After configuration of the logo design idea through the rough sketch, now we bought the image to the software. Here we'll reconstruct the logo and give a final look and make an end product of the logo. I'll start using the pen tool and take out the outline of the sketch. So while reconstructing the logo, if I found if any minimal changes is required, I'll do that. That's the reason why we are reconstructing it in the software. This way you can make a curve using the pen tool. 
and I'll make duplicate of this curve. So simply I'll drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate here. I'll draw one more curve at the center. Similarly, I'll drag it using the Alt key and place at the center. At the center curve, we'll write the text. Here write true source. And from here, increase the font size. and align the text at the center of the curve. Let's change the text color. Let's change the font from here. Selection of an appropriate font for the logo design is always a challenging factor for the graphic designer. Now align the text at the center and keep continue drawing the outlines of the remaining sketch. After completion of drawing the outline of the sketch, I'll remove the background from the logo. And now select those and increase the stroke size from here. Do multiple selections using shift key and increase the stroke, give the same value and expand it. Here also select this and expand it. Select this one, remove the outline and fill the color. Here also fill this with color. Now select them, take shape builder tool using alt key, delete those unnecessary extended lines and make the design more clean. Here also delete using Alt key. Now select them all. And from here unite it and change the color. Here do a straight line using Shift key. Select them all again. Take Shape Builder tool using Alt key, delete it. Now select the shape. Take Shape Builder tool, choose color from here and fill the gap in between the lips. Take Pen tool and here draw a curve. Now do multiple selection using shift key, take shape builder tool using alt key, delete it here and delete the curve. Similarly, we'll draw curve here and make a gap in between the lips. Let's repeat the same process with the landscape.
After reconstruction of the logo, the next step is the modification. If you think that if you can add something more to the logo which can give more attractive look, then you can do that. So here I am adding new elements on the design which I think would give more better look. The more time you spend in graphic design, you can come out with more better outlook. Selection of an appropriate color in graphic design is also a challenging factor. Color plays a significant role in graphic design. There is no doubt about it. If you have a good taste of color combination, then you can become a better graphic designer. If you have any particular color code, then you can apply the color code here directly or you can choose the color and uh, from here you can do the combination of the color like this by sliding it. Let's transfer the same color from the top to the bottom. Change the color of the text. Replace black outline color to dark brown, which would be suitable for the landscape. We can also do further modifications on this logo if we think that it is suitable. So here, draw a circle at the center and take the pen tool and draw a line from the center. So I am creating a center because for the sun rays we need to give one center point and by following this center point we can rotate the line and create a sun rays. Here give angle and preview it. Now it seems perfect. Copy. Control D and repeat these copies. Delete those unwanted bottom lines. Now do multiple selections by using shift key. Increase the stroke size from here. And make this bigger in size. Select this and do copy paste and make it more bigger. Now select this two and lock it. Now take scissor tool and cut the lines by following those circles. Let's unlock the circles and delete them. Now take scissor tool and create the sun rays. Do multiple selections using shift key. Now go to object and expand it. After expanding, let's change the color. Go to pathfinder and unite them. Now do right click over this and send this to back. And that's it. So this is the final end product of the logo design. Hope you enjoyed the full process of logo design from scratch to the finish. If you like this tutorial, then you can subscribe Graphic Island. And here I'm Abul Mansoor. Bye bye for now. Have a nice day.